Hawaii's most accurate weather with Kelly Simek. Hello, uh, everyone. Well, we've continued to see those winds weaken, and for today, taking a look at the current wind conditions, the wind contours, winds coming in in all different directions. So for today, the light and variable wind pattern definitely dominating, and unfortunately, it's going to be sticking around for quite some time. This is a look at the future wind speeds, and South Point continues to see some of the stronger winds, but elsewhere, we're just flopping between zeros and the low single digits, and that's expected to continue into the start of the weekend, maybe even into next week, but trade's not going to be back at least through this work week, and it's, again, likely in the next coming day. Days. So that's a big shift to the weather pattern. When winds are down, humidity levels are up, and then we shift to a more land breeze, sea breeze pattern. So not our typical trade wind weather, but it's not too untypical. I mean, when we don't have our trade wind weather, it's usually the land breeze, sea breeze pattern. But the thing that's different about this week is we simultaneously have an upper level trough that's going to be coming nearby. So that's going to lead to a lot more instability. When you have instability, typically we have an inversion that caps off our cloud tops. When you have the instability, that inversion's lifted. So you can get those higher cloud tops to build, and that's when you can see the heavier showers, that's when you can see the thunderstorms, and that's what we're expecting today through Thursday. So be prepared for that. Grab those umbrellas as you're heading out. Let's look at the future satellite and radar, and you can see rainfall expected to be fairly widespread through the evening hours, and that's expected to be near the state through tomorrow as well. Looks like this particular forecast model has the bulk of the heavy showers offshore. And then take a look. In the overnight hours, Wednesday into Thursday, we start to dry out. This forecast model has things cleared up by 1 p.m. Still expecting some sea breeze showers. Hopefully that's the case. There are some forecast models that show more widespread, consistent showers through Thursday. But I'll continue to track the different forecast models as we get closer. It'll be hopefully in better agreement by tomorrow. But of course, we're rooting for the clarity by Thursday evening because of Halloween. So I'll continue to track the moisture. But as of right now, there's a 30% chance of rain through the trick-or-treating hours. All right, that's like your